Wonderful. All right. So thank you again for everyone who has joined us. I hope you are all doing well, staying safe, most likely working from home. Um, and I wanted to preface that this webinar was written and planned uh, long before this craziness of coronavirus completely shifted how we're working at the moment. Um, so I'm going to definitely address that. Some you know, events <laughs> probably most likely are canceled or postponed at the moment. So it's really hard to go into an event focused webinar and not address that. So that's the very first thing we're going to tackle um, is just how to, to deal with events that maybe are canceled or postponed. But we also have a whole repertoire of, of webinars and tutorials uh, strictly related to, you know, communication through crisis events like COVID-19. And I'm going to send all of that in a follow up email along with these slides. Uh, so you have all of those resources there for you. Um, if you haven't met, if we haven't met, my name is Delaney. Uh, for some of you, I've, I've been emailing you and, and talking to you for a while, so you know who I am. We, if you've been to several webinars now, you probably know uh, this ridiculous photo. <laughs> um, either way, it's nice to meet you. Uh, I've been working with Thank You for about two years now, um, and it's been really great to, to learn about the world of, of donor relations, of admissions, of nonprofit stewardship, um, everything that Thank You has been used for currently. So today, Surprise, surprise, we're specifically gonna talk about uh, events and thank you. So thank you, be, thank you being more than just thank, thank yous. Um, and before I wanna hop into the agenda, these are some more of the resources that I addressed earlier. There is the Facebook community group. There is our LinkedIn community group, which is a little less poppin'. I think people are a little more willing to open up on Facebook than on LinkedIn, feeling like you have to be a little more buttoned up there. I hope that's not always the case. We're gonna try to get more, more material and more um, how-tos in that group as well. We also have our monthly newsletters. So if you are a thank you user and have a login, you're already signed up for those. So you'll get updates on new features, on uh, again, tutorials and how-tos. And then we also have a YouTube channel as well. Um, so you can always go there, find the recordings for webinars that you might have missed. So, and we'll also put together uh, a blog post. So the very last thing there, that thank you blog. So let's hop into today's agenda. Uh, like I said, the very first thing we're gonna talk about is thank you and canceled or postponed events. Looking at a, specifically an example from uh, University of Wisconsin, Eclair, um, they did an amazing job updating not only current students, but their alumni as well. So we're gonna take a look specifically at one of the videos that they sent. Um, and the next thing we're gonna look at, the next section is just thank you and event invites. So maybe as you're taking this time to not only change some plans and some communication at the moment, you can also take this webinar, maybe hold on to it, maybe think about it in the next month or so, but take some of these things for your fall and winter events as well. So we're going to address some tips and tricks for event invites and take a look at some examples. And then we're finally going to look at thank you and event recaps, uh, what that looks like, how filming those works, and then uh, again, looking at video examples, really diving into different kinds of organizations, both schools and colleges and nonprofits as well, uh, seeing what that looks like for different kinds of organizations. And then finally, we're going to end with Q&A. So if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the chat or in the Q&A box, and we'll kind of address them all at the end. So we, I'm happy to go back through slides if they were specifically about a certain example, um, but we'll address all of those at the end. So let's jump, go ahead and jump into canceled or postponed events. Have some tips here. And again, I'll be sending a follow-up email with all the links to these resources. So no need to, you know, be strenuously taking notes or trying to copy these down. All of this will be sent to you um, right after our, our time today. Um, so let's go ahead and jump in. Let's take a look at ways that you can use thank you in lieu of canceled events. The very first point I have here, and I think probably the biggest thing to highlight is just clear communication. Um, if you have decided that an upcoming event needs to be postponed or canceled, letting your know, guests know ASAP. Um, and I think, <laughs> you're, I'm gonna be biased, but I think by far the best way to do this is through thank you and through personalizing those videos. Um, a video is a very human way for your, your team to reach out, uh, potentially even your, your school's leadership in a much more human way, expressing your concern and updates about the situation 
uh, without seeming like an announcement from the CDC. You can still be very, very human and, and reaching out to people on a very personal level with those messages. And I don't know if anyone um, here was in the webinar or got the follow up from the webinar. Um, but if last week you joined uh, JD, our CEO, uh, he sent out a video update featuring him and his baby girl in their living room. And he just, you know, gave a really quick update on Thank You's reaction to coronavirus and, and what we're trying to do to help our partners. And it was just a really, again, warm way of seeing that kind of update. And I, I knew it was coming. I, we had talked about him filming it and I still got it in my inbox and was just really um, impressed. And uh, just really, I, it was just a very more human way of, of reaching out. I don't know if anybody else is getting a thousand emails at the moment. I got one from K Jewelers at one point. I was like, thank you, K Jewelers. I got one from my dentist. Everyone's reaching out um, in maybe ways that are, you know, really informal or really unnecessary. And thank you is just a really great way for you to update your current students, parents of students, um, and, and update on events that may not be happening at the moment in a really human way. And one huge, huge event that is maybe potentially canceled for your organization, if you're a college or a university or K through 12 school, is commencement or graduation. And we're actually hosting a webinar specifically on how to handle a canceled graduation uh, with personalized video tomorrow. And I can send a link uh, to that as well if you're interested in joining that webinar. And even if you can't make it, uh, just go ahead and sign up. We'll always send a, an email follow up with the recording as well. So that's something, uh, if you're looking specifically at that huge event for your organization, uh, we're gonna address that kind of in a separate uh, webinar. And then I wanted to just pull out really two big things, the video request tool and personalizing each video. Um, I'm gonna link to, as you can see, this is hyperlinked, personalizing the video in each campaign. Uh, that video just shows a really quick way of going through a list. Um, and this is a great introduction for maybe gift officers who are reaching out about canceled you know, meetings, uh, things like that. Just a really great way for them to go down a list of their portfolio and reach out to every person in that campaign. So personalized video is one thing I really wanted to highlight here, as well as the video request tool. And I wanna do just a quick tutorial so you can kind of see where that looks like and where that lives in your portal. So I'm gonna exit out of my presentation here, hop into a portal, and I have logged in. I'm gonna go into our campaigns page. And video request is a really great feature for you to have students or alumni send you videos during this time, um, sending, you know, what are you up to? What is, what is your update for us? How can we um, kind of band together in this time and, and create more of a conversation rather than you just sharing uh, information? So I highly recommend using that video request tool. And I'm just gonna, again, highlight where you can find that here. If you go to your campaigns page, click create new campaign, there is a video request option here. And if we click into that, it's gonna look a little bit different than a normal campaign setup. There's less steps right here at the top. There is adding recipients like you would for a regular thank you campaign. And then if you go on to setup, it's gonna look a little bit different. It's gonna give you the option to uh, you know, give that subject line, that sender name, just like a normal campaign, but give you the option of putting in instructions. So if you're having students record donor thank yous from home, uh, this is where you can put all the things that you'd like them to include in the video. Uh, the, the donor's name, the scholarship name, maybe things that they're up to now that classes have gone virtual. Um, anything that you want them to include in the video, you can add here and add optional due dates and reminders for those as well. Uh, so just an option for you guys if you'd like to maybe get more video content, uh, if you'd like to have students still, you know, working and still sending videos um, for donors or uh, for their, you know, fellow students, uh, this is a really great way for you to, to easily get that video. It's going to save automatically into your video library and then you can build a campaign and send it out as well. So let's hop back in. That was just one tool I really wanted to highlight. It is an enterprise tool. So for some organizations that may not be appearing for you, feel free to reach out to support at thinkview.com, get more information on how that works, how, what the pricing would be, all of that good stuff. Just reach out and we're happy to help you with that. And then finally, we, I have mentioned these a few times already, we've been doing just COVID-19 specific webinars and how to's and quick tutorials to pass on to your team.
And there's a few of those connected there. Um, and I'll be sending those links in the follow up email as well. So let's go ahead and hop into the example. This is just a really great COVID-19 update. Um, just given to, there was two different campaigns. One was to current students and the other was to alumni. Uh, just giving them an update on how the organization was dealing with coronavirus and what their, what their process and um, you know, just any updates that they had for them. So let's take a look at this example here. Greetings, this is Kim Way. I'm the president of the UW Eau Claire Foundation and I'm uh, reaching out to you here from the UW Eau Claire campus where we're entering our very first week of the new normal of dealing with the COVID-19 virus. Uh, right now, we don't have any students or faculty on campus. We have a, a moratorium on classes for three weeks while faculty are preparing to offer all of the classes online. Uh, so we will see a new way of operating from our students' perspective, but want to make sure you know that um, the health and wellness of our campus is our priority, as well as the continued success of our students as an educational opportunity is very important to us as well. Most important of all is we want to continue to maintain the value of the Blue Gold degree. I want to also let you know that the UW Eau Claire Foundation continues to be operating and working and that uh, we're reaching out to our alumni and connecting with people to tell the stories of how your gifts and make such a difference in the life of this university, not only today, but well into the future. Uh, for information about how the university is handling the COVID-19 virus, please go to the UW Eau Claire website and there's a, an extensive page that gives all a range of, a wide range of details and information about uh, this rapidly changing and very fluid situation. Meanwhile, just want you to know that uh, your UW Eau Claire is, is doing well and is strong and go Blue Golds. Thank you. Just a really great example of, you know, being willing to step in front of a camera and give those updates rather than written in a text. Uh, just someone, you know, clearly explaining, here's how the process is going to work. Here's what we're doing to really protect the health of our students, of our staff. Um, so I just, I thought that was an amazing example for what that can look like um, as you're continuing to update people on the situation as you maybe hopefully very soon are switching back into normal routines, keeping those updates uh, live. And what I also really loved, I can switch back to the screen here, is just their live updates button here. So people can always go back and, and click on this link uh, to get those updates as well. Uh, with that said, I'm going to hop into more of the, you know, maybe fall or winter events or winter type events that you guys are going to be planning for, um, getting more information on how you can uh, film those event invites. So let's take a look specifically at the invitation part, and then we'll look at event recaps as well. Uh, so let's go ahead and hop into the first point here, which is a little bit of filming tips. Uh, the beauty of Thank You is that it can be filmed on a webcam, an iPhone, any kind of camera, uh, whatever you have lying around. But the first decision I think you'll most likely need to make uh, when it comes to filming that video is that who's recording it? Who is the person who is going to be the, inviting uh, your audience? And that might have to do with who you're sending to. Um, sneak peek, this is the next, next point we're going to address is segmenting. But if this is a student and donor meet and greet, it might make the most sense for the students to be the one who are inviting the donors. So really thinking about who you're sending to might influence who is going to be recording the video. So the three things you'll really need to address before hitting that record button. The first one is who's recording the invite, uh, to what are they saying, including the event details, highlighting the RSVP link below, uh, just having that script ready to go. And then three, what are you using to film? And this is something I'm going to link to in the follow-up email, so don't, don't worry too much about it. But Kansas State has an incredible uh, filming gear backpack. They call it the magic backpack, and it has all of their tools. It was under a certain amount. They you know, had this budget, filled this backpack with gear, and they use it for all of their donor relation filming. Um, it has microphones, different lenses, lighting. Um, so it's just an inspiration. You can kind of take from it what you need. Uh, the biggest thing being audio, making sure that that is clear 
and I'll film or I'll link to the microphone that Thank You uses. It's just a clip-on microphone that can plug into an iPhone so that that quality is really clear, really crisp when you're recording those invites. And then of the you know script and recorder info, that's most likely going to be determined by who the audience is. Um, if it's volunteers that you've worked directly with, the invitation, it might mean a little bit more coming directly from you. And if it's a major donor, that invite might mean more coming from their gift officer, the person that they have a built relationship with. So determining who the audience for your invite is and allowing that to determine your tone, your recorder, and how personalized the video should be. And speaking of gift officers, I wanted to plug here. <laughs> this is something I'm definitely stealing from JD's webinar last week, but I thought it was an incredible way for gift officers to connect while not being able to physically travel or meet donors. Um, and that's by showing a Google Hangout uh, meet time, uh, using a thank you to invite donors uh, to a virtual Hangout uh, to hear about how their lives are doing, really update them on you know, the ins and outs of what your organization is doing, but all in a virtual space. So I'm linking um, to this you know, reminder that events can be virtual. Um, we can take a look at it now. I won't play the whole video, but it's just a really great uh, script for your, your gift officers to work off of. If that's an idea that they're really interested in trying, um, it's a really great uh, example to pass on. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at this. Hey there, JD here from Thank You, and I'm sending you this video because uh, I'm thinking about you. I want to know how things are going, how things are shaping up with you and your family, uh, and, and lend any support and help that I can, I can be. Um, you can click the button below. We're going to be doing a digital uh, little hangout today. If you just need to pick me up, you just want someone to talk to, we're going to be there all day long, so don't hesitate. And um, if you want to reply back, press the reply button down below. Uh, send back a video. I'd love to... So again, this is JD kind of impersonating a gift officer, <laughs> but giving a, kind of a, a script idea for your gift officers um, to, to extend an invite for a virtual meetup. Um, it's just a really great, again, seeing a face, hearing someone invite you personally, is just a really great, great way to go about that. So let's take a look at some examples of invites for hopefully what will be soon back on campus inv invitations, back on campus, homecomings, um, events, uh, donor brunches, all of these good things. Um, this one here is specifically from Pepperdine and they did an amazing job of segmenting. This was to specifically a group that had studied abroad together um, and I just thought it was a, an amazing job of reaching out to them. Even if it wasn't on a one-to-one -one level, it was still personalized and a really great video to, to follow. Buongiorno, Forenzi alumni. I hope that you're able to make it to your reunion for your 2006-2007 uh, Florence year. And it's happening this Saturday, October 12th at Alumni Park at Pepperdine from 12 to 4 p.m. And it's going to be a fantastic uh, reunion part of Leaves Weekend. We have um, incredible food trucks from Los Angeles. We have uh, an alumni VIP tent where President Gash and First Lady Jolene Gash will be stopping by. We have um, an incredible concert lined up with two great artists and um, those amazing ocean views. Uh, and most importantly, your fellow Florence alumni. So I hope you're able to make it. If you have not yet registered, Online registration is currently closed, and uh, therefore you can register when you get to Pepperdine. Um, so we hope that you can join us for your reunion on Saturday and um, later in the evening at 7 p.m. We have an alumni after party in Santa Monica. So click the link below to learn more about all the activities happening at Waves Weekend, and feel free to reply to this video if you have any questions or if you wanna let me know that you're planning to attend. All right. See you later. Arrivederci. <laughs> and I really liked that they uh, used that call to action button to link to the full details page. It wasn't uh, an RSVP link to a certain event. It was kind of allowing um, people to go from this page and explore all of the different options that she had mentioned. It wasn't driving them to one specific one.
Uh, so just again, a really great job of segmenting those videos um, in a way that you know feels really personalized to the alumni that's receiving it. It's not just a, a bulk uh, alumni invite. And the second one here is a really great admissions example. So I know we might not be joined by admissions team today. Feel free to forward this on. Um, this is an example of a student inviting uh, potential students to a meet and greet. Hey, future lawyers, it's attorney Jazz of Jazz Talks Law. I just wanted to make a quick video to say thank you, thank you, thank you for talking law with me at the HBCU Pre-Law Summit. I want y'all to know that that was not our last conversation. As you know, we're having an open house on October 25th from 9 to 1230, and we would love, love, love for you guys to come down so we can continue the conversation, talking about Mercer Law, why is a good fit for your legal future, and most importantly, getting you into the legal profession. So join us on October 25th from 9 to 1230. And if you can't make it then, just schedule a tour. Come on down to Mercer. You can find more information below, and let's just keep the conversation going. And again, I really wanna highlight their call to action button here. Um, they did an amazing job of uh, giving an action word, register, so we know you know, what it is that I'm supposed to do from this link. And they gave a little more detail as well. So it's the open house and bonus points. They also put the date for it as well. So if that button is getting too big, you don't, you don't want to include too, too much information. But I think this is the perfect amount of, I know exactly what I'm going to do. I know what this is for. And I know when it is um, right from that button. And again, just the video itself is amazing. She's very upbeat. The student is genuinely excited <laughs> to meet potential students so that really comes across um, just an amazing admissions invite example and then this is one from our st baldrick's foundation um, this was just a, a group a smaller group of donors that were invited for a specific event and uh, again she was really great about just jumping in front of a webcam and recording this video really quickly and it's just so personalized and i, I love it i think it's a great <laughs> great example Hey everybody, my name is Kim Hoffman and I'm the Strategic Director of External Relations for the St. Baldrick's Foundation. And I'm actually coming your way uh, mid-October to the Orlando and Tampa areas and wanted to just personally invite you out for some appetizers and some soda so we could talk shop, talk St. Baldrick's, um, an update on all the things that we're doing behind the scenes to make your experience better as well as our 20th anniversary for head shaving is in 2020. And feel free to ask me anything that you might wanna know or any ideas that you may have. Um, you have been selected because you are one of our incredible major supporters. And so we just hope that you are able to consider joining us. Um, take a look down below and you'll see the invitation information for the specific cities and you can just hit reply and this will go straight to me to let me know if you'll be able to come or not. Hope to see you soon. Thanks so much. Take care. Again, just amazing job hopping in front of that webcam, giving all of these details below. There is a way to have a call to action button be an email address. Um, there's an FAQ article I can drop in the chat um, as we're doing Q&A if that's something people are interested in learning a little more about um, so that the very first button they see is the reply button. But I also wanted to use this opportunity to sneak peek that we are working on an RSVP, RSVP form right on the landing page here so there isn't a, you know, a need to drive back to another um, another form that they have to fill out. This would all live in here. All of the information would also live in Thank You. So that's something that's currently being worked on. Um, and if you are interested in giving feedback on that, feel free to, to send me your email. Um, I will put you in touch with our, our designer team. Um, they are still putting together how that would work, making sure the flow is really easy to follow. Um, and we would, we would love your feedback on that. So if that's something you are interested in, you're really uh, interested in using Thank You for invitations and that RSVP link would be really helpful, feel free to reach out to us. We're happy to, to get you in on those conversations.
So let's hop back into uh, one last section here, which is event recaps and uh, what it happened, what it looks like when your event has happened and you want to thank people for coming or send, you know, sorry, we missed you uh, videos. Let's take a look at some tips and tricks for those. Similar to the filming strategies for invites, when you're sending that filming recap, um, especially if you're filming it at the event, good things to keep in mind are steady camera. If you're filming on an iPhone, especially any of the newer iPhones, the visual quality is going to be phenomenal, but the audio a little less so. So I'd highly recommend uh, investing in, if not the, the microphone I'm gonna link to, another sort of clip-on microphone that connects to your phone. So you can get high quality for, um, if you're interviewing the speaker at the event, if you're interviewing uh, some people who are attendees, uh, just making sure that they are clear uh, and that visual quality is matching that audio quality. Um, and tools, I mentioned the, the magic backpack. I will link to all of those materials and the follow-up email. So kind of picking and choosing what your organization needs, what might be most helpful for you at the event, or if you're filming after the event, what tools, if it's, you know, really, fancy smanchy webcam <laughs> to add on or um, a microphone that goes on your desk. Uh, there's options for all of those as well. So I'll be linking to, to some of the things that we recommend. And the second thing to keep in, near, in mind here is that timing is everything. So this needs to be sent out, uh, if not the next day, at least within three days of the event. So it is top of mind and uh, just a really quick thank you for coming. Uh, it's pretty tricky, I imagine, as you're planning for so many different things, so many different contingencies for the event itself to keep that thank you and to keep that video top of mind. Um, but that thank you for attending or sorry we missed you video, um, having those planned out beforehand can make it so much smoother. Oh, hold on just a moment. <laughs> My husband's also hopping on a call. <laughs> I moved to a little bit <laughs> quieter part of the apartment, the work from home life. I'm sure everyone else can relate. <laughs> um, so let me see, we are, timing is everything. Uh, just making sure that you are getting those recaps out very, very quickly. Making sure that plan is in place even before the event happens, even as you're planning the event invitation, making sure the contingencies for the video follow-up are there as well. And since that is, you know, an extra step, um, an extra thing to keep in mind, I wanted to end this slide with a why use video, uh, just kind of an encouragement for you to put in the extra effort to, to have that uh, either filming something at the event itself or filming something after. Um, I just wanted to give you these stats to maybe give you the, <laughs> the courage and uh, the wherewithal to go through these, these steps here. And that one of them is the 70%, 73% of donors throw out physical recognitions like plaques or certificate or direct mail. Uh, so not only is the mail more expensive, but it's also getting thrown away. And this was something I pulled from a recent Lynn Wester uh, presentation. I just thought that was really a shocking, shockingly high number of people throwing things away. Um, whereas a personalized video is something that's gonna stay in their inbox, uh, whether it's from you, from, uh, from students that have benefited from their scholarship recipient, uh, it's gonna stay with them a lot, a lot longer and mean so much more uh, than maybe a, a letter or just a text email. So it's a really encouragement to get out there, get in front of that camera and to make those event recaps as well. And without further ado, I wanted to hop into some great examples of what a video recap can look like. For some organizations that is filming the speaker, like I'd mentioned, uh, maybe just filming from the office afterwards and linking to photos from the event, or it's a slideshow of photos from the event. So there's a kind of a range of options that you can do, and we're gonna look at four specifically uh, right now. So let's take a look at this one. Uh, this is filmed from a student. It's just a thank you for attending. Hi, I hope you had an amazing time at our LA alumni brunch. My name is Madison and I'm a first year opera master student at Berkeley. I'm loving my experience here so far and I'm so grateful to know that I'll soon be joining an amazing community of alumni all around the world. 
On behalf of all Berkeley students following in your footsteps, thanks for all you do to support and inspire us. I'm excited to meet you at a future alumni event. And the student did an amazing job uh, filming in their uh, dorm room or in their house or uh, public space there, and it's just incredibly well lit. Um, so that's definitely something if you're using that video request function, uh, just mentioning like, hey, make sure that if you can, natural light is the best way to, to get that filmed if you're using an iPhone or, or a webcam. And you can notice here there is no call to action button here like we there were in the uh, event invites. Um, this is strictly just a, a thank you for coming. So if you leave that call to action box link, uh, if you leave that empty, there won't be a, a button there. And this one is from Georgia Tech Alumni Association. And uh, my contact there, her comments were, uh, this was just a thank you for attendees uh, to one of their really successful fundraisers, the Gold and White Gala. Um, and it raises funds directly to support three of the student organizations. So it's no surprise, this was filmed um, at the event and it was filmed with uh, one of the students from those organizations, uh, just saying thank you for, for attending and for funding our organizations. On behalf of the Georgia Tech student orgs, I wanted to say a quick thank you for coming to the Golden White Gala and supporting all of our organizations. It was a pleasure to see so many Yellow Jackets and friends last Thursday night at our annual Golden White Honors Gala. Thanks for coming out, helping us salute the honorees and also support those very important student programs. Go, Go Jackets! Jackets. And this was one where they had linked to the event photos. So it's just a really nice uh, touch point if you wanna have them go to you know, those, this photo page and try to find one with themselves, all of that good stuff. Um, that's just a great option if you do wanna use a call to action there. And then this one here is from uh, National Cathedral School. This is an admissions video. I wanted to highlight at least one uh, for an event invite and then one for an event recap. Um, and this one's just very personal and heartfelt, um, especially because uh, they mentioned one student in particular who wasn't able to make it. Um, and that just makes all the difference when parents are deciding, you know, where, where to send their children. So this was an amazing, amazing admission video. I just, I just wanna play that one here. Hello, I just want to say thank you so much girls for joining us today at NCS. I had so much fun with you. Chloe, we missed you, but please do know as soon as everybody saw your name tag and heard that you were out sick, everyone sent lots of good love and cheer to you and healthy thoughts to Maryland, um, where they all knew you were. So I hope you are feeling better and the rest of the group, thank you so much for coming. We were able to get to know each other and find out what our favorite things in nature are. We had otters, we had rushing rivers and waterfalls and beautiful sunsets on the beach. And then we did some reading and played a game, a little puzzle with a story and had snack together, did some math and some really creative writing. I hope the girls had a great time and please everybody reach out anytime you have questions. Thanks again, bye. Yep, and again, there's uh, no call to action here, no description. That video itself really contained everything that uh, she wanted to, to send in that follow-up. So it's really an amazing video that's right at a minute mark. Uh, 30 seconds to a minute long is really the sweet spot for these kinds of videos. Um, so that was kind of encapsulated everything that she needed to say all in one video. And then the final thing I wanted to end here uh, is the YMCA Greater Houston. They did a slideshow of their um, event and let's take a look at that.
pause it here. We don't have to watch the, the full two minutes, but they did an amazing job of getting shots um, throughout the room. So there's all the speakers, um, each of the tables. Um, I, one thing I would recommend here is maybe putting in both images and uh, video from the event. Uh, visual, visually, it's just more interesting to watch as a video is happening. Uh, maybe a speaker is speaking and you can actively see that um, in the follow-up video. Or even interviewing attendees, you know, asking why it is that you came to the event, uh, what you got out of it. Um, might be really interesting for other people to see and see if they had similar experiences as well. Maybe even connecting them uh, using that call to action button as, you know, join us on Facebook, keep the conversation going. Um, things like that to, to keep the, the momentum from the event uh, going in the follow-up as well. And with that, those are all of the examples I wanted to go through, all of the different tips. I'll be sending, uh, like I said, the, the filming gear um, and all of the tutorials that JD has been filming, you know, quick, you know, how to get your gift officers to send virtual hangouts, all of that uh, good information in the follow-up as well. But we're going to go ahead and hop into Q&A. If there are questions, I'm going to tack Tackle the chat box now. I haven't opened that yet. Yeah, uh, so there's uh, an email there. I'll send you the link to tomorrow's uh, webinar. Oh, great. Yep. Yeah. And the, the RSV feature. Oh, thank you. Thank you for being willing to, to chat with us. Oh, great, Tiffany. Yeah, yeah, I'll definitely, I'll send the link uh, in the follow-up email so everyone has that uh, to register. It's, I believe, tomorrow at 3. Don't quote me on that. It might be 1 p.m. Eastern time, um, but I'll send that in the follow-up email as well. Great. Thanks, Kersey. I'm I'm glad to see I have a few different emails to pass along to our uh, UX designers. Uh, feel free. I'm going to, like I said, send an email, but you can always follow up and be like, yeah, I've, I've talked with my team. We're interested in, in talking with you guys. Always, always happy to, to add you to those emails. Oh, yeah. Uh, so far, there haven't been uh, too many questions, uh, just a few different um, Yes, I'd like the webinar um, and the yes, I'd like to participate in the RSVP uh, survey. I, I don't think there have been, are there any uh, questions related directly to uh, either postponed or canceled events or um, even thinking more forward, hopefully to a, a brighter day <laughs> where there are in-person events back on, the, back on the table. I'm happy to address both of those uh, different situations. Hey, I'm just making notes, making sure I have both the emails down for people that would like to receive them. Yeah, of course. Thanks, Kirsty. And that, that is my whole presentation. If you're still typing a question, feel free to, I will hang around for a few more minutes, answer those questions. But if you are good on questions and just waiting for that follow-up, you are good to go. I will be in touch with the, the info. I hope you guys have a great afternoon. Stay safe, stay healthy. Thanks. All right, if there aren't any questions, I'm gonna go ahead and close this out here. Thank you guys all for coming and we'll be in touch.